Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you our newly launched product, this dental clinic management system in Microsoft Excel and VBA. After downloading this file from our website, first you need to unzip this. Just right click and just say extract all. Click on extract. Now this is in the extracted folder. Just right click on this file, this Excel file and go to the properties. Unblock this and click on apply and OK. Now just open this file. This is the login page of the dental clinic management system version 1.0. Here you can use the default user ID and the password that is admin1 and the password is abcd in a small case and just click on login. Now this is the main page or the landing page of the dental clinic management system. And here on the top box, we are showing the all appointments and at bottom, we are showing the today's appointment and this is the this month revenue. On the top section, we are showing one minimize and maximize button. You can just minimize and the maximize the tool using this button and then you can zoom the screen according to your screen size. You can just zoom in or zoom out. It depends on the resolution of your system or the size of the screen of your system. If you take the mouse here, it will show you the current zoom level also. For now, I'm just keeping it as 100%. Here it is showing the person name who has logged in and the role of that person. Then on the left hand side, we have given a navigation pane wherein we have some buttons like user management, patient master, treatment master, manage drop down, doctor master, expense report, logout, user access control, emailers and visit our website. We will show you these all buttons, how you can use them. Then for this appointment list, you can manage by date range also. We have here all period option. If you select that, then it will show you the appointments for all the periods. Or if you want to select the appointment only for the selected date range, then you can change the start date and end date. By default, it will take the rolling 30 days dates. You can use this calendar button. If you click, it will open this calendar. Let's say I want to see the appointments only for the July month. Just click on this next month or you can change from here July or let's click here. Then it will take you to the July month. Let's say from the 1st of July, I want to see all the appointment. Okay, you can change the end date also. Just click on refresh. So this is showing all the appointment for the July only. Okay, if you want to see it from the 5th of July like this and refresh, then it is showing the 5th and 6th July appointments. All right. At bottom, we can see the number of records available here. Let's say I want to take this for the all period. Now here we have the filter by option. If you want to filter this data, let's say I want to filter by the doctor name and I'm just putting here PK and just click on refresh. Then it will show you the data wherein doctor name is PK or you can select this by status. So just show me wherein status is completed and just refresh this. Even if you put the short code like comp then it will automatically pick up that okay or com also then automatically it will pick up okay or let's say i'm putting here as ch and refresh then it will take the scheduled all right or you can filter it by the treatment name also let's say i want to put for the filling so i put only fill then still it will take the according to the treatments so these three filling Okay, let me put here select and refresh again, then it will show the all data. It will not filter that. The next is the sort by. You can sort the data as per your requirement. Let's say I want to sort it by the ID. So you can just use that. Or I want to sort it by the patient name. Or let's say by date. So the data is sorted by date. Or let's say by status. Then it is showing all cancelled, all completed, then all scheduled, okay, or by treatment. So it's depend what you want to select. So accordingly, it will show that data. Now, if you want to add a new appointment, you can click on this plus button, which is add new appointment, and it will open the appointment window. 
Now let's say I want to add a new appointment and here I want to select the patient ID. So we have five patient. You can add the new patient. If the patient is absolutely new, then you can use this plus button. So it will open the patient master. Here you can add the new patient also. You can open this patient master from here also, this button. So you can add the first new patient and then you can use the add new appointment. So it's up to you how you would like to use that. So let's say I'm just clicking here and I want to add a new patient first. So let's say I'm putting the name as PK email ID of the patient. If you want to put that, you can put it is optional. I don't want to put that mail age. Let's say I'm putting the age as 32 and the phone number. This is also optional and then let's submit this we can see the new patient is appearing here okay now let me close this and uh, if i come to this again i'm seeing the five ids or you can uh, go by the patient name also again here we can see we have only old patient name so we can just click on this refresh button and then we can see the new id here or if we go here then we can click on this refresh button then we can see that new patient name if i select that automatically patient ID will be filled or I change the patient ID then automatically patient name will be changed. So let's select the patient ID 6. Okay. Doctor name, you can select the doctor name from here and automatically it will take the today's date. However, if you want to change this for the future date or any other date, you can change it from here. You just need to click on that. The automatically it will change. So let's say I'm taking today's date for now. Status, I'm taking just scheduled and the treatment what do you want so let's say i'm putting here this treatment and automatically it will take the treatment cost here and uh, if you want to add a new treatment which is not appearing here you can just click on this plus button it will open the treatment master and you can add the new treatment and the cost of the treatment and if you want to put some remarks then you can submit that and that will appear here after refreshing this so if you refresh it will appear that okay let's say i'm taking the filling here and any additional cost you can add let's say if i add the 100 additional cost then the total cost will be 250 okay for now because i'm making it scheduled so i'll not take any paid amount and let's keep it blank and just submit that now here today's appointment you can see uh, the new patient name is appearing here right and that is for the filling and uh, we can see that here also if i sort this by date then we can see that here on the top this one okay now if you want to update this then you can just select that record click on this update existing record or you can double click also it will open this same form and this time i'm saying i have paid 250 and i'm saying completed okay also i'm changing the status as completed okay and just say submit all right so that is completed as i update that the revenue for this month is also changed and the name of the person is also appearing here because we have received some amount right and the balance is zero also and we can see the remarks also and we can see that information here also this one this is completed now and we can see all information whatever we have filled is appearing here okay now if you want to delete any record you can just select that record and just say delete record if you say delete currently we have 14 records right you can see that here and just say yes that record will be deleted okay that is deleted from here so we have 13 records now if you want to see the history of any record whatever we have updated you can just select that record let's say this one patient id 6 we just have created and just say so record history just click on this now it will open the transaction history form wherein it is showing all the history first we have scheduled this right here then we have completed this one and the amount was paid and we can also see the remarks and who have updated this one and what was the update timestamp everything will appear here you can use the export to excel also if this list is long you just use the export to excel the data will come out into the new excel and you can further use this for any other analysis purpose let me close this and let me close this one also 
you can export the data appearing in this box into the new excel also using this export to excel button just click on this and the data will appear here and you can further use this data as per your requirement let me close this now here we are seeing the today's appointment that one appointment is not appearing now because that is completed right so we can export this data also into the excel you can see this is also appearing as well as we can use the export to excel this data also using this button all right so that is how we can use this now i will show you other buttons also the first one is the user management from here you can create a new user let's say i'm creating a new user as pk password i'm putting let's say abcd small case role i'm giving the user not the admin and just click on add new or update so that new user is appearing here if you want to change the user access or the password just double click on the user and from here you can change the password or you can change the role and just click on this plus button again that role will be changed or double click again let's make it user again and just click on this so that is user okay you can delete any user also just select and say delete so you can delete that record from here let's say i want to delete the user one just delete that all right now let's say i'm now let's come to the patient master this is the same window we just have added one patient using the this window right from here patient id or patient name you can just use this same window will appear you can go here also using this button and let's add all the patient first and uh, from here if this is the long list of the patient you can just select by the gender or by the phone number by the email id by the address remarks updated by as you want and uh, you can sort this data also let's say i want to sort by the patient id or i want to sort by the gender then you can see all female patient or the male patient it can be sorted accordingly all right and to update any existing record you can just double click on this and that will be filled or you can select and click on this edit or update button that will be filled here and you can reset this and then if you start adding and submit that will be added as a new record or if you change this let's say i want to change here and i'm putting one phone number some dummy number and just submit in that case it will not add a new record it will just update the record you can see that that is updated if you want to export the patient information into the new excel file you can just say export to excel so here you can see we have all patient related information into the new excel let me close this now next is the treatment master this is also the similar form wherein we have entered all type of treatment and the cost of the treatment in this master and you can use the select it by the treatment name cost remarks etc you can just take that and you can uh, sort this as you want or you can use the update and existing export to excel okay. the same method will remain same now coming to the manage drop down we have some other type of drop downs also in the various forms like specializations of the doctors or the status and some other uh, so you can just add the let's say new type of status or the expense category here we have when we come to the expense form we will show you so you can add the new type of expense category let's say i'm adding here test and just click on this plus button so that will be added if you want to delete that you can just delete it from here or if you want to export this list to the excel just click on this it will take uh, the or it will show that export to excel uh, that list of the expense category okay let me close this and uh, coming to the doctor master here we have the doctor master we are taking the doctor name specialization here if you want to add the new specialization click on this plus button the same form will be opened the, that manage drop down okay you can do this from this button or directly you can just click here and you can update that and after uh, adding this you can just say refresh this and then that will appear so you can add the doctor name here this method will remain safe filter and short and export to excel everything now coming to the expense form here we are maintaining the expense of the clinic first you can take the expense date then you can take the description of the expense expense category then you can take the payment method then you can take the expense approved by amount of the expense vendor and the 
expense status approved rejected or pending the same information will appear here so let me make a record here so let's say i'm putting here test and let's say i'm taking here rent the amount is 300 and just take here let's say bank transfer or if you want to add the more in the drop down you can again use this plus button let's say i'm using a new payment method as upi and add and one more let's say as paypal and add now let me close this if i open this drop down i have to refresh this first then that will appear here upi Bender, just select that and select this here also let's say approved and submit so as you submit that record will appear here okay again you can change this using the date range or all period so it's up to you how you want to change this you can use the filter by using the different methods here and you can export to excel also or delete or update existing record okay so that is appearing here all right so that is how we can use the expense master to track the different expenses now coming to the report part you can fetch the report of revenue using the start date end date or you can fetch the expense report submit so here we can see the revenue report is appearing here and similarly you can check the expenses report same expense report will be opened okay using this button you can log out from the tool or you can use the user access control also let's say you want to allow to update a transaction to the user or you want to allow to delete a transaction so we haven't allowed the delete a record right and similarly we have allowed the other one you can check or uncheck that as per your requirement okay now if you log in with the user role so here we have created a user name of the pk we have put the password as abcd i will quickly show you that one also if you click on the email us it will show our email id if you have any query you can just email us or if you click on this button it will take you to our website let me log out from this tool now let me reopen this and this time i will log in with the new user that is pk and i'm putting the password as abcd and just enter so that is the user here you can see it's not the admin so that user access button is not appearing as well as i cannot delete any record if i try to delete the record it will say you don't have the access of this button please contact your admin because i am an user so you can manage that access if you want to allow to show the history of a ticket or if you want to allow to update the existing okay so you can manage that using the user access control so that's it in this tool friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching